everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel, Colleen C. to Serendipity. Today is August 8th, 2022, and I'd like to bring you this day in history. After Joseph Smith, the founder and prophet of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or Mormonism, and his brother Hiram were murdered by an angry mob in an Illinois prison six weeks earlier, Elder Brigham Young is chosen to be the church's next leader. The decision made in Nauvoo, Illinois on the Mississippi River was not without conflict. Sidney Rigdom, then 53, Smith's first counselor in the first presidency and a long-term LDS leader who had been with the church almost since its origin wanted the role. Pleading his case of the gathering of the saints, which numbered 6,000 by some accounts, his stance was made without counsel counseling the quorum of the 12 apostles, one of the governing bodies of the church, who were still traveling across the nation to gather at Nauvoo. As a lone survivor of the first presence, presidency, Rig, Rigdom submitted and he was the rightful leader to succeed Smith. As Rigdom highly, as Rigdom, a highly regarded orator and preacher, prepared to call for a vote, Young, then 43, a former carpenter from Ver Vermont, turned president of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, dismissed Righam's claim to the leadership. Young argued that Quorum's power and authority equaled that of the first presidency, presidency and one of its members should lead the church. Young's speech, in which by some accounts he transfigured into Smith, sounding and looking just like the slain prophet, won him the vote. Facing repeated conflict, he soon relocated his group of Latter-day Saints to Utah, arriving in Salt Lake City on July 24, 1847, and was officially ordained the second president of the church in December 1847. Hope you've all enjoyed this day in history, and if you would, Please give my video and comment down below and keep smiling because I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Bye. I'll see you in my next video.